Not sure. Pop on her. I think you want to still come towards me a little. There we go. Hello, hello! So, if I'm looking at the camera, we should be on this side. So we're on the wrong side of the screen right now. But we can fix that next time. A um, little bit of stream work that we need to do. Good morning, everybody. How are you? It's good to see you. Um, today, we're going to be playing some more play... Well, I guess this is the first time we've ever played it live, huh? Yeah. I have never done... You okay? Yeah, I'm just... Okay, I've never done the dumplings uh, seed, um, so this should be real fun. We got a good map. We're playing <laughs> a lovely little cat cafe. Yeah, um, I mean, I've never played cat cafe. Uh, so I'm not sure if the mod adds cats in or like if it's just the dress, but the mod is called cat cafe, so I just downloaded it. Um, this is a big restaurant. What's that? I'm thinking like the number of tables we start with. Man, you just undercut me at any chance you get. Wow, this place is huge. No, it's not. Shut up. <laughs> how do you uh, buy? How do you buy? Like that. I feel like I forgot all the controls. Yes, it's been a little while, hasn't it? It's been mm -hmm. over a month since we played. If not oh. longer. Huh? If not longer. I don't know about that. Now I will need this probably moved to here. This can go here. Now, did, did they order like a certain number of dumplings? I don't think so. It looked like they ordered three. When I did it, they ordered three and they stayed at three. Mm -hmm. It just made three dumplings. Maybe they can double order. Yeah. Um, that might be an option. I brought a microwave because I figured what's more American than microwave dumplings? Um, so, what? Hot. Why? Also, this controller is terrible. It keeps like facing me the wrong way. So if we lose very quickly, that is likely the reason. Like I put something down and then it just flips my character the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So not great. Yeah. Better. Better. We really need to get rid of these black bars. Uh, I'll try and fix that for you. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Yeah. Oh my god, this is awful. It's like, I might need to switch controllers. <laughs> like, switch out this controller with something else, because this is trash. Mm -hmm. Pow. Pow. Now I do that. Put him in there. <laughs> what? Cute one of my great dumplings. Yeah. And then blam him. I figure that's the way to do it, right? Delicious microwave dumplings. Okay, so it's eight. Eight I don't bucks. think it's What's different. That? It's it looks nicer. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason I brought the microwave is because I don't have to pay attention to the cooking. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, uh, call them in, sweet pea. Call them all in. We got dumplings to spare. Ow. Delicious dumplinos. Is this an attack? No, they're humans, but we're wearing cat outfits. Does that make it like a something different? Hmm. I think I can do it that way. I can. Aha! The cheetah Rooney steps. They're very quick at making the dumplings. In real life, I think that's the hardest part is making the little pierogies. Dumplings are basically pierogies, aren't they? The more you know. Or is dumpling like? the term used for all things that are like this, or what are you doing? Recording to. Oh, okay. Now it should automatically record to Twitch, so that way you don't need to record anymore. Um, that way you can actually have space on your computer. So I don't know if you need to do that, just for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to buy some plates? I guess it's good to record it and then test it because I did turn the recording on the stream on. No. And then I'm just going to save to um, Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. That way we don't have to ruin your computer. Because I think you still have like eight hours of video, if not more, saved on your computer, um, which is taking up like 400 gigabytes. 
Um, so we might need to fix that fairly soon. It's fun hearing the little characters moving around in the background. Mm -hmm. What is it <laughs> uh, We can play the stream for a minute and hear what it sounds like. But we did not test this, really. Well, the recording sounds good. Well, that's good. But I always get nervous because... You never know. Live is... Live is live? Live is live! Call them all in, Steve. So we also need to be careful with just the constant smashing of the controllers. I don't know if there's an easy way to fix that, um, unfortunately. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of ASMR. Is it? I think so. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Just <laughs> Oh, ASMR is very uh, crunchy today. Nice. I don't know if there's a way around it though. Listen. There might be like little like rubber Grips or something? Grips that you can buy that, um... Also, maybe if we didn't buy, like, the cheapest, like, Walmart <laughs> controller. That was, like, a $60 Xbox controller. I know. I don't know why controllers are so expensive. It feels Do like a Do you want outside? Dining tables? No, the... the envelopes. Oh, we could, yeah. Uh... Maybe it's in the options. Game. Uh... Blueprint. Oh. Off. Yeah. Because we want it outside. Perfect. Um, well we got 20 buckaroonies. I don't really think we have a use for anything yet. But we can upgrade the mm -hmm. other thing now. We have four groups, which means we should be able to serve one person and call them all in. Mm. Game is live. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. How do you do? Oh, yeah, I noticed. Like, what? <laughs> These things happen. Um, nice. I'm really looking forward to making my workout videos today. Because homie's got to lose like 30 pounds. I'm going to see if I can't lose 30 pounds in, what do you think, four months, five months? I'm going to try and make it a challenge where like I'm, I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible, but also like safely, you know? Um, so the idea is I'm going to try and put Spoilers for the video that's going to come out hopefully later this week. Um, try and eat like 1500 calories a day, um, do our workouts, all that kind of stuff, and see where that hits me. Um, I'm trying to make it work, you know? I don't know if it would be worth it, but maybe getting a knife or I guess just a mixer would be good. Call them all in so we can. Also, we have to reshoot that Warhammer video, unfortunately, yeah. but I think I got all the editing that I need for it down, um, so I think that will be quite fun. Um, what else do we have going on today? Uh, there's... Oh, weren't we going to go to the farmer's market or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I well, guess we forgot we're streaming. Yeah. <laughs> Never to the farmer's market. Ooh! Seaweed. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. I don't know how to do that. Fried seaweed. Cook seaweed and add to plated dumpling. So you need the hob. Uh huh. You'll need to put the hob out. Yeah. Um, does this mean. Uh, ugh, just microwaved seaweed? <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> I don't know if that's the move. Um, anything else? No, not yet. I think we want to get this up to a blueprint desk or a discount desk, which I think both of those cost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so seaweed. What if I just do this? Oh, that cooks fast. And there's one per dumpling? I guess so. So I'm just going to put out a couple of them. See how that goes? Let me see. So that's just a dumpling. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what it's gonna look like with the seaweed though. I don't know. I don't. Is that like a traditional dish? Is seaweed on dumpling? I'm not sure. I don't know either. It doesn't sound nice, but I mean, I guess seaweed's kind of salty. Um, traditionally, anything that has the word 
see it, it tends to be a little salty. Uh, whoopsies. Uh, it's all going tits up, so okay. <laughs> Just fire and doom. Uh, looks like we might need some more counter space. I think dumplings just use a lot of counter space in general. Yeah. Um, so, something to think about. Ooh, okay, double C. So it's, these are cooked or not? Those are cooked, yes. Okay, so it's literally just seaweed on the side. Yeah. Kind of weird. Um, okay. There you go. <laughs> My baby! <laughs> Running it fast and loose! Oh, can you call the all in, please? Now I do have an extra seaweed ready. Um, so I'm just gonna keep cooking away here. The dumplings take a while to cook. Like, I don't really think of microwave. Well, I guess microwave dumplings still take like a minute or two, right? I don't know. When's the last time we cooked dumplings in the microwave? Like last week. Yeah, I wasn't I home last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because the brand um, that we got, I think, from Walmart or whatever. You just put it in a bowl of water in the microwave for like um, four minutes and it like boils them. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I have extra seaweed here for you. Extra dumpling. Dumpling in a seaweed and a dumpling. Delicious. I don't know if three dumplings is a meal though. I wouldn't pay eight dollars for three dumplings. Then no. again, Did it does have extra for the seaweed. I didn't see. No, I, yeah, that was sixteen bucks. Yeah, it is kind of nice that we can look over at the stream and see it, like, 10 seconds delayed. Yeah. Um, what did we get? Blueprint cabinet, exactly what I want. Um, what are you thinking? Do you want a better sink? Yeah, let's see. Frozen prep stations are what we're going to want for this guy. Because if I can put a whole bunch of dumplings in there, mm. um, dumplings and seaweed. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking, I wonder... I'm hoping that the dumplings go in, because it's three. Yes. Um, so you don't have a way to come out of the kitchen. That's okay. Honest. Yeah. You need to be paying attention to this. If a prep station comes up, or a mixer, I really need one of those. Mm -hmm. um, or if you find something that you really want, make sure that you hit that. Mm -hmm. So, blueprint cabinets and research desks as well. Sound good? Yeah. Four, four groups. We're going. We're live. Do you need a combiner? Uh, no. Just... I love that you troll me. Not trolling. You live. Okay, we need a uh, conveyor belt. Not really. We're looking for things that we'll actually need to convey first. A knife would also be kind of useful. Short term. It's going in the sink. Double combiner, huh? Mm -hmm. Eventually, I think we will need the combiners uh, because I don't think the conveyor belts will combine the meat and the stuff once it actually gets cut up. Um, don't go too aggressive with the thing because remember that stops the blueprint table. Mm -hmm. But I like the uh, I like that you're like, oh, one's up, let's go. Good eyes, sweetie. Good eyes. You're very good at this game. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. We're not getting anything good. At this point, if you see anything that you think will work, just pop it in. Um, I to, when that thing changes over, whatever it is, we'll walk. Oh, prep station! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. Fucking A, sweetie. I just saw you mess- Oh, call it, call it, call it, call it, call it, call it! Hurry! Oh, too slow. It's alright. That is okay. What did we get? A wash basin? I don't know. I, to me it looks like a power sink, but I can't tell. I'm almost certain that's a wash basin. Exclusive dumpling restaurant. Heck yeah. You want to eat our dumplings? We're going to make you pay for it. Yeah, it's just a wash basin. Want the wash basin? Either we buy it or we leave it because we need the frozen prep. So kind of up to you. No, I'm okay with that. Okay. Oh, uh, a sixty. We'll get it. Yeah. 
And then there's something here. Do you want a... I'm sorry, I just went crazy, but my legs were in a lot of pain. Um, Do you want a sink in your kitchen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. So this can go... So do the makers of the game make the mods? Mm, they... No. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, unfortunately, they do not. Um, they... When they quote-unquote mod the game, they just add something new to the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm just going to add a precious flower into here. Um, and I do want a trash can in here. So let me think. This needs to cook. Which, I guess that works. I just want my stuff. Because right now I have to run this over, then run it back. Mm -hmm. So really, this should end here. Oh, nice! That feels very, like, traditional dumpling restaurant type thing. You ready? I think this works better. So now I chop a chop up. Oh, I should have put it on the other side. Yeah, I was a fool. Good call, good call. Man, even with a double shot espresso, you're still asleep. It's before noon. Yeah, man, the poor little baby. Uh, one and one. One and one. We need to start thinking of like fun names for it. It's like a dumpling could be like three little pigs. Um, or should it be, I guess it should be smaller words, right? Uh, that way it's easier to say. So a dumpling could be like, in order one. And um, the other thing could be, are you going to want to cover? Um, whoopsies. I'm going to have myself. Yep. really proud of us. So who, let, I know you don't really like this topic, but who is your favorite Warhammer character? Ferris Nims. <laughs> Why? Because we said a fish named Ferris. <laughs> I thought that's what you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, was it Lionel? I don't know his last name. Lionel the Lion one? Lionel Johnson? Yeah, he's pretty cool. Why do you like I him? I need one TV. One TV, come on. But I like the idea of like the lion. He is kind of like a lion person. Um, he has a lot of lion aesthetic. Um, I don't see anything popping off for the um, blueprint cabinet, so if you just want to call on the last group, I think that's a good, good idea. It's just locking the hub. It's fine. Uh, that's our. Oh, nope, there's one more. You should eat. One, two, come on up. Goodbye. Yes, if we could get one more counter space too. Like I think. Oh, we have an extra counter right there. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Um, that will go right there. Easy peasy. Oh, no, they'll still be able to walk through the seat. I was just thinking, like, will they be able to get around there? Um. I think I'd like to cut these videos up into like little YouTube videos as well. We can release like a full stream, but yeah. good stuff. Ba -da -ba -ba. Mandarin orange. Let's just do the food burns. Uh, I would like to try the mandarin orange, but having a microwave means that the food doesn't burn. Um, Start going for the sink again? You try to get you a dishwasher or something? Yeah, he wants a frozen cup now. Yes, I want the frozen cup now. Um, and we could also add in another table. Uh, would you like another table? Sure. Um, yes, no? I feel like we're going pretty well with the three tables that we have. Yeah? Leave it at three then? I'd say for now. Okay. My word. My poor little sweet Do you know that we do not know physiologically why we yawn? I thought it was because of gas or lack of oxygen. Like when I was reciting the um, NCO's Creed, mm -hmm. I would always yawn because I didn't have enough oxygen. That's just a theory. 
Like we don't have like a real concrete reason why we yawn. Yeah, because I was one of the only few people that would yawn. Mm -hmm. And we don't know why yawning is contagious. But, yeah, I don't know. Don't, um, uh, what are those things called? Prairie dogs? Don't they yawn? All animals yawn. All animals yawn? Mm -hmm. So there has to be a pretty darn good reason for it, right? Mm -hmm. How do we know if we're right? How do you know if you're right? I don't know. Like, I mean, somebody may have figured it out, but how do we know? Well, because I think you need to be able to prove it. Yeah, so, so how do you prove theorize it? that. Blueprint you, cabinet! Yes! Oh, sweet, you were on it. Do you, like, when you theorize something, it has to be. Provable? Provable, like the scientific method. It has to be able to be. Um, be done over and over? Repeated, yeah, and have the same result. And I'm sure they. Who's they? The scientists. This is what you want to do. Took like, blood samples or oxygen or whatever. Uh huh. Oxygen level and um, whatever, like they do whatever it's called when they like check the gas. So they like deprive somebody of oxygen for a bit, see if they yawn, and if they yawn. Yes, I don't know. I don't know how you. Because you... when you hold your breath, you don't yawn. Like I'll hold my breath right now. Okay. No yawn. Theory busted. We're talking about yawning. Why you can call them all um, Well, I think it has something to do with light as well, right? Like if I stare at the sun, um, it makes me yawn. Or like if I'm in like a dark area, I tend to yawn. I thought it was meant to like signal like other animals that there was like gas or that it's nighttime or something. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe there's multiple reasons why we yawn. Maybe there's not just like one real reason, but there might be several different reasons, right? Should we see what Alexa says? Alexa, why do people yawn? Scientists don't know why humans and animals yawn. Some studies say it's connected to the regulation of blood oxygen levels or body temperature. Okay. Um, let me cook up one more seaweed. Da -da 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 -da. Easy. I would not like frozen seaweed on my hot dumplings. Is that from? Oh, well, I guess yeah, it's it frozen. is literally frozen. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Um, but then again, I've never had a um, dumpling with well, frozen seaweed. Well, I always talk about it. I'm yawn. Well, I'm just a yawning kind of person. Yeah. Uh, poor little sweet pea. We, I think it's because it's also kind of like dim in here. We need to like get you up and go for a jog or something. I think you'd really like that, waking up and going for a long jog. No, I would not. Yeah, it'd be good for you. I woke up this morning and went for a jog. Why don't you join me? Because we only have one pet mom. Uh, we can go outside. <laughs> what? That's even worse. Why? Outside for life. No. Yeah. No, I'm an inside cat. <laughs> Weird thing to say. Um, I'm just gonna roll this because I don't really want to count it. Uh, yeah. Fudge. These are all terrible. Last roll. A coffee table. And we'll get the scrubby brush too. We'll save the scrubby brush. Yeah. Oh, we can't scrubby brush. I don't know money. if that's a good place for the coffee table. We'll see what? how they walk through. Because if they're walking through here, good point. That's annoying. But if they're walking through over there, it's fine. You are very smart. You have a big brain that is wrinkly and crevassed. Yeah. Um, for in BLC, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt. 
in BLC, um, I named my squad Team Smooth Brain. Or sorry, we were the Wrinkle Brain. Um, I named the other team Smooth Brains. Um, I think they named themselves like the, the Georgian Killers or something like that. It's like, no, 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 you are Team Smooth Brain. Because <laughs> they're all from Georgia? They were from like Georgia and Atlanta and other places. Um, Atlanta, just right. Uh, Alabama, excuse me. Maybe I was Team yeah. Smooth Brain. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, the cookie crumbles. Man, they are messy as heck, huh? Yeah. But that's actually not that bad. No, it seems like there's less mess than... Pizza, I think, is the worst mess. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe different foods have different level of mess associated. Because you can't really be that messy while eating a dumpling. I mean, even if you drop the dumpling, they're still... I don't know. I don't know. I think it was a dumpling. I was sitting here playing a game. Right. Poor keeper, probably. While eating? Yeah, why is he sitting his eyes with Um... He shall not be spoken of, for he is evil. <laughs> oh, why um, did you feed them? Oh, because I had an extra dumpling. Yeah, why is he sitting like that? I don't know, it's just kind of a weird dude. So you were eating something and you spilled it? Oh, no. Um, I was eating dumplings as I was playing a game, and I dipped it in soy sauce. Actually, it was teriyaki sauce. Ooh. Which... Call them all in, sweet pea. Uh-huh. Um, has rice, uh, wine vinegar, or whatever, rice vinegar. Mm-hmm. Um, so you went teriyaki sauce, rice, wine vinegar. No. Teriyaki sauce has, that's how it's different than soy sauce, because it has rice vinegar in it. Really? Yeah. Oh, the more you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I took a big, I mean, it has soy sauce, so that's why I just used it. Um, right. But I took a big bite of it, shot the rice vinegar down my throat. Nice. And it hurt so bad. Not great. Please be careful about uh, feeding people before I have the orders up. Yeah. 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 Well, I think you just gotta pay a little bit more attention to me. Um, I still need to make up another whatever this as well. I need to make up four of them. Don't serve them. Don't tear. Uh, yeah, I need to make five. Honestly, maybe putting the dumplings in there would be better, um, but then I'd just constantly be refilling it. So I'm kind of okay with just having the seaweed in there. You're good to go. Oh, and I can help you with the dishes. Wash up, wash up, wash up, wash up. Huh. That's really useful. I like being able to help each other. Mm -hmm. Caring and sharing. Dishwasher and a scrubby brush. I just get the scrubber brush into the dishwasher. Okay. Do we get rid of the dishwasher then? Yeah. Okay. Unless you want. I have no interest. So you can pick up your scrubby brush right next to the thing. We'll upgrade a conveyor belt. And a floor buffer? We could... Make um, a robo? Yeah, make them a robo one. It's gonna be expensive, but mm -hmm. we have a ton of money. Yeah. Um, we get another star today as well. Um, <laughs> do you hear Cleo already going a bit crazy? She's just stretching. Oh, nice. Ready? She is so cute. Look at her. That cute She's little chunk. She's not in the stream though. Oh no, you can see her head. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're not there. She's there. Nice. Ready? Yeah. Go, go, go. But yeah, you have a double upgrade today, my word. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite style of dumpling? Is it like gyoza? Is it soft dumplings? Ooh. I like gyoza. Yeah. I like a little crispy. I like a little bit of crunch too. I think that is nice. Do you need a roller? No. I don't think I actually roll anything. I just chop a chop a. I don't know if you roll it once it's in dumpling form. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Honestly, um, what's that thing that makes everything cook faster? Um, there, I think there's a card that's like, everything cooks 20% faster but burns more often instead of just like the regular just burns. That'd be pretty good because the microwave is kind of burnt. Ooh, research desk! Thank you, sweet pea. Do you like that I just occasionally yell at you? <laughs> Younger, I thought it would be super fun to own like a big restaurant that like has big long tables that everybody eats together, like a big public kind of like the food all comes out in big trenchers and everybody just kind of picks what they want and like passes it up and down the tables and stuff. Mm -hmm. I bet that's a, one a health and safety hazard, um, but two uh, that'd be really annoying. Yeah. yeah. If you were a waiter. Crazy. Call in, sweet pea. You didn't get your scrubby brush. No, I haven't had time to go get it. I'll go get it. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Just shoving the customer. Yeah, take like a customer coming through. Look out, ground on coming through. Careful, don't be. I'm them. not feeding them, I'm just hanging out. Thank you. Well, I'm assuming it's dumplings. I see, but not to eat. That is the choice, but. Oh, oh shit. I made a pie! Because if you use the thing on the pie, on Too the many dough. Times. Yeah. I always forget that you need to cut the meat and then put the meat in there. Oh. They're really doing a lot with keeping the ingredients fairly low. Mm -hmm. um, I, I kind of like that because it, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do with just a ball of dough. You know. Oopsies. There you go. I've got one more seaweed. You're good. In the schmutz. In the schmutz. We need to save up money for tomorrow. That way we can... Um, Get no mess. I don't think the no mess is in the exclusive. Oh, there's your apple pies. No. <laughs> increased let's, mess. Let's get the increased mess, but we're gonna buy the robot to clean for you. What the? Which I don't. We'll have to save up for the robot. Grabber? We don't want this grabber yet. Ooh, but we do want the research desk. So maybe we do actually take the grabber. You can go farther and we can. <laughs> I think that's the mod that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot! I bought the research desk. Fuck. When you, uh, not blaming you, but when you zoomed out, I accidentally clicked the wrong button because I was looking at you. Whoopsies. Well, that was a kerfuffle. Okay. Ready? We wasted 40 bucks and a really good roll. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Is it only smart grabber? Uh... What do you need now? Am I upgrading? Yes, or? upgrade both. Oh yes, you want a smart grabber. Well, no, it might turn into the other grabber too. There's like three variations of grabber now. I don't know. We need to put context into the questions we're asking because I'm doing a lot of stuff while you're asking the questions. You know? So, should I be upgrading would be the better question. They need to make, um, what is the, the big like industrial grills that like Chipotle has where they can cook like five meals at the same time? That would be good. Mm -hmm. um, that way we could do all kinds of stuff and things at the same time. I would love that. I can hear the gameplay kind of through the headphones every once in a while. Uh, no? Yes? Do you really need it? I don't think anybody sat in the coffee table yet. No, I don't think so. 
Really what I'm looking for is another research desk or something, unfortunately. You can't. I screwed that up. Uh. Oh, there it is. Research desk. Go get it. Man, we could have had two. That would have been real good. That's okay. Um, so tomorrow we buy the whatever it is and we store um, things for the other thing. Um, I think you're able to call them all in now as well. So that's a little bit of extra money. So we have enough money to now buy the whatever it's called. The robo mop. So that way you'll have a place to sit. can leave that dirty plate there for a while and that will stop them from having to do that which will give them more time to make the other stuff. To so leave those two, leave him at the coffee table? You can leave him at the coffee table till he's nearly dead um, which will give me time to actually make up the rest of the stuff. Mm -hmm. You can still feed those two other people. host a played up tournament. I got the extra seaweed. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm dying. Why are you dying? I'm having protein burps. Yeah, yeah it's not tasty. Yeah, it's not great. So we got a ton of money, um, which means we need to... We do need to buy that. We need to buy these two things, but we don't have any money. Huh? Nice. Yeah. So let's get the robo mop. Let's store you. We need to upgrade you. Which right now, unfortunately, I don't see there being a reason. Oh nice. We don't need that guy right now, unfortunately. Um silver turkey wallpaper. Oh nice! We could have like a turkey themed dumpling place. Yes. Be kind of weird. Mm -hmm. I'd be into it, but it'd be kind of weird. I guess yeah. the recipes don't go away. Like the turkey. Or... I think they do. Some of them cycle in and out. I, I oh, well, we haven't seen poppers. By the way, the the poppers, you're supposed to do them with your friends. Yeah. You both pull aside and then that. whoever has more wins. Don't know. They're kind of like a wishbone. Yeah. Yeah. You right? We were two dollars off being able to afford both things. But you have the robo mop. Yeah. Ready, Freddy? Yeah. Nice. There is another coffee table down there, but I think what we're looking for are mixers and more robo mops. Um, Something that allows us to cook more. Frozen prep station, another one of those would be great. Um, trying to think of what else. Um, blueprint cabinet, hooray. Man, this is a great seat. We're gonna have to write the seat down. It's a smaller restaurant, but I mean, I think this is fantastic. I wish I could up my production of uh, dumplings though. But just thinking of that video Twitch that we saw. Which one? I've been selling it for a hundred and something days. Oh right. Ugh. Hey man, if we wanna get big, we could uh, we could dress up like cam girls and just do horrible things. We never know. I mean that might be the vibe. That might be the vibe. Whoopsies. No. 
Do any of the other sinks give water besides the basic sink? I don't think so. That's not great. I know you can just buy like the regular sink. Uh, which, by the way, when you're ready, I think you can call them all in. Oh. Think we have enough space? I think it's like eight people or something. Pretty phenomenal, uh, which means I don't remember how much the copy disc is, but we could copy the statues that way we get the bonuses immediately. Um, I think that might be a vibe, and then we can also copy the blueprint cabinets that way we have infinite blueprint cabinets so we can store as many things as we want. It's pretty good. Dumpling. Man, who would have thought a little cat cafe dumpling restaurant would be? Not a cat cafe. Well, we're cats. Maybe we have to turn the mod on. We are. We, the mod is on. That's where the dresses came from. Sorry. You can feed them. Please feed them so that you don't lose. Oh, thinking about oh, what were you thinking about? I was hoping that I could serve cats. That would be ideal, yes, but that has not happened yet. Heartbreak. That's all right. We'll get there one day. You can just be a little bit closer to me. There we go. You just keep edging further and further away from the mic. Oh. Uh, okay. Thank you, my wife. So we need this guy, which he's $120. Um, oh, there's a grabber there too. So hold on, we need to rearrange this a little bit. We don't want to buy that, remember. So we need... Hold on, you can help me if you'd like. Or so this on. is gonna go in there. Copy desk comes here. Yeah, but I would also like to get this grabber. Do we sacrifice a blueprint cabinet? That way we have infinite grabbers and stuff? I think so. I think so. Nice. And then we can just store some other thing, which I guess can be a hub. We could get safety hubs. Um, that could be good. Mm -hmm. So we'll need $200 to buy, or we'll need at least $100 a day to buy a statue, which will get us up to the extra money. So I think that's the first thing we buy. Mm -hmm. um, and then we buy the grabbers, which we'll still want to upgrade into the conveyor grabbers, you know, the ones that can shift. Mm -hmm. um, the corner or whatever. The corner ones. And then we won't want to upgrade those anymore. Um, and then we'll just have that. <laughs> My poor little battery. It's almost a, it's almost 10 o'clock. Huh? Yeah, you've been up for like a whole hour. <laughs> My poor little sweet thing. I've been very productive this morning. You have! You ate most of your breakfast. Um, you took a shower. I took a shower, washed my hair. I think that's part of taking a shower. No. It's like saying I wrote a paper. I put a lot no. of words on paper. Because you know, you only wash your hair once a week. I wash my hair once a week. You're only supposed to wash your hair once a week. I don't know. Is that why the pillows always smell funny? I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, uh, just is that bullying? Yes. That might be... <laughs> we just got banned from Twitch. Mm -hmm. Zero views, banned from Twitch for bullying. <laughs> uh, I need a sharp knife or something. Is 
it takes me forever to cook these little chunky boys. I do love a good clump dumpling though. I don't know why, but like sandwiches and dumplings, like things that are really easy to hold and eat at the same time, just phenomenal, you know? Mm -hmm. um, no, we're holding off for mixers now, I think. Or things that help you out there too. We will need that combiner. Yeah, it might as well. Right now we're at the point of the game where money is the main roadblock. You know? uh, especially in the, like, I think this is only franchise one. Yeah, because we just started this. Yeah, but we're on day 12. We're on day 12. Check it along. Check it, check it, check it. I'm coming, I'm coming. We have dumpling production. Oh, you're in the more city. The seaweed actually cooks pretty darn quick. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Yeah, it is just basically wet grass, right? Water grass. What? Salt water grass. Not really great, is it? What I is mean, it? I do love... Call it. I like seaweed too. I don't think it's... I wouldn't say I love it. I don't think it's something I love. Uh, we need to serve a couple people like it out here. One more dumpling up. Oops. 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 It's quickly going down the chute. Yeah. Whenever, um, like, I noticed a couple times you're just standing there with, like, a clean plate watching me while there's, like, dirty plates to be washed. Dumpling, dumpling, less talking. Uh, I can't really speed it up any more than that. Um, remember, you don't need to serve them. Take the order, you have a moment to relax. Um, but uh, previously, I noticed that you were just standing there with a clean plate waiting for a dumpling while there was a bunch of dirty plates out. Feel free just to put that plate down, um, and I can put the dumplings on it, and you can continue to bust a bust. You know what I mean? Hello? Yes, Joey, how are you? I know I'm hungry. Oh, the wine. I'm kidding. My word. Are you crushing? Oh, what the fuck? Who put dumplings in there? You. I did not. Uh, I may have. I may be. No, my mistake. Uh, last two peeps. Last two peeps. They need one more dumpling. Dumplings coming out. So you can just put that down. So like put that tape plate down, that way I just put it on there, that makes it a lot easier, you know? That way you can go do other things while I'm still cooking, you know? Because that dumpling that was in the microwave, you should hand it to me, not start the microwave again. Right, that's true, but I got distracted by you doing the thing that I just said literally not to do. I was like, hey, you don't need to do that, you can do the other thing. I, was like, I know! And then just did the wrong thing again. Um, so that's why I got a little distracto. Little distracto, Jim. And I don't think we can upgrade that again. Watch, 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 watch. What are we gonna get? Oh, progress is hidden. That's fine. Honestly, I feel like that's a gimme card because it shows you what's happened. So can we upgrade this? Why does it look like that? Uh, because it's been copied. I know. Oh. Yeah. No, we cannot upgrade this. So that gives us room for another conveyor belt. We need to buy one of these bad boys. Do we need two combiners? Because we have two combiners. We technically do need two combiners. Do um, you want them? It's all of our money. Um, okay, so no, we only, only buy the one if you don't mind. Um, because we don't need two of them. Um, I don't know if we do need them or not. Um, I'm just doing this. Oh shoot, I can't do that. But anyways, I need to move this over here. Um, and I can put this here. Nice. Uh, let's grab this. 
put this here. Do you, can you organize this a little bit for me? I need this being copied, but not upgraded. I need this being upgraded and this being copied. So these two need to be copied. This one cannot be upgraded. So I can just put it here? I don't know. So this one yeah. needs to be upgraded only. This, this one needs to be upgraded and copied. This one needs to be copied only. So I think if we do something like this, there we go. Thank you for your help. Um, because this can't be upgraded. These two, this needs to be copied. This only needs to be, or sorry, this needs to be upgraded and copied. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We've done it. <laughs> Did that make sense to you? Yeah, no, I'm just. What? You're cute with your little. Little main Maybe. cafe. <laughs> this needs to be like this and then like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Made in charge. Oh, yeah, no. Maybe. That's, I feel like that's rude against maids, right? They might know what they're doing. Um, no, but imagine like the CEO of a company comes into like... busting in. But he's wearing bunny ears and like a little maid costume. Like a French maid costume. It's tragic that you assumed the CEO of a company would be a man. Uh, but I'm thinking... Um, what's the guy from Spider-Man? The, the owner? Oh, oh yeah! Get me pictures of Spider-Man! Yeah, I love that. But he's wearing bunny ears. That would be a very different movie. I would have loved that. Joe oh, Jameson. That would be so funny. Heck yeah. Man, I would love to be Joe Parker. Jameson. Yeah. <laughs> Parker, where's my bloody photos of Spider-Man? Uh, Mr. Jameson, what do you do with those photos? That's for me to know! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, I'm ready. Okay, I am too. Go, go, go. Oh, come on, what the heck? Um, we can just get neat. Um, so I immediately messed up on this round by having it go like that. <sighs> My poor little baby. We gotta get you some like upper pills or something, you know? Like, we. It's cozy Sunday. It cozy is cozy is Sunday. Yawning. Co okay. I can understand that. The more I hold them back, the bigger the arms get. Yeah? Yeah. I think that might be like a heart disease or something. No? You sure? A heart disease makes your eyes water? No, it makes you yawn a lot. No. Because like your heart's. It's called not being tired. You went to sleep at like 6 o'clock! I didn't. What time did you go to bed? Like 1 a.m. because you were snoring kind of loud. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we need to get your schedule where you like go to sleep at like 9 or 10. That way you can get up at like a reasonable hour, you know? Well, you're still a college student. Like, you don't really need to be up for any reason. Besides, today. But you got that. And then, I go, I go, off to work, I go. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, go back to bed. No, I get up early. I think that's good though. When we have kids, it will be good. Because I can get them up and off to school. And uh, you can like stay up late and make their box lunches or whatever. Box lunches. What, what do you call the kids' lunch? Pack their lunch boxes. Yeah. Isn't that a box lunch? <laughs> what? It's lunch that comes in a box. I, you didn't call it that? Blueprint cabinet! Go, go, go! What did you call it? Lunchbox. Okay, but it's the same thing. But it's three words instead of two. I remember being a kid and my parents would always pack my lunch. Right. But I'd be pissed because I was like, I want to eat the cafeteria food. Why? Cafeteria food is bad. It was like pizza. Oh yeah. When you're a kid, you don't know what shitty pizza is. You know, it's just like ketchup on bread. And they're like, I'm gonna eat this. Please don't. You are gonna get a melanoma from it. Yeah, the pizza is literally like ketchup, cheese, and like supposedly sausage, but no. it's like processed human meat. But it was so good. Was it? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> 
I bet you did. There was like a like a breakfast pizza. Oh, that was pretty cool. And again, it was literally just ketchup on like. Mm -hmm. Can I have that double? Yeah. Um. Ketchup on like a pizza thin bread. Call me, call me, call me, call me, call me. Um. Yes, at my school we had really good french fries that were like spicy. Um, what? They were like, like you know the Arby's fries that are curly? Yeah. Uh, but they were like spicy curly fries. I used to love that. I was like, this might sound bad, but I was like the only uh, white guy who ate it. Everybody else was like, no, it's so spicy. Oh, I love it. I want to feel it hurt me. The more you know. The more you know. Great job today, by the way. Like, really good job on cleaning out these customers. Little savages that they are. I kind of have my flow in the kitchen down. Uh, it's not perfect, though. Like, there's some serious improvements we could do in the kitchen to make it work a little bit easier. Um, oh, that's an annoying thing. So to automate the dump holes, we're gonna need to cut the dump, cut the ingredients, combine the ingredients, push it into another mixer. Oh, I need to make. Um, well, I guess that doesn't matter. Um, push it into another mixer, then push it onto a cooker. Yeah. That's a lot of steps. Very good to go. Nice. I don't know if I've ever had fried seaweed though. That doesn't sound very nice. What? Black and Oh, nice. Bullying our customers? Yeah. Yeah. My poor, my poor Or like a seaweed. mass murderer. <laughs> like a scary, like demented murderer. Like American, American Psycho. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Where Which are we going with this? Imagine instead of like a, like a suit and tie. Right. <laughs> a pink frilly Outfit. bunny apron. Be pretty weird. I had an axe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm kind of scared. I think that'd be more like... scary, right? Like, imagine like you go into somebody's house and they're like cross dressing, covered in blood with a lethal weapon. I'd be like, oh, there's all kinds of things happening here that I don't want a part of. <laughs> this is gonna go one of three ways, and all of them are bad for me, right? Like if More you are like the most, least intimidating thing. Yeah, but there's something like if you're wearing something that's not very intimidating, it suddenly becomes much scarier. Yeah. Like that's if what you just said. Yeah, yeah. If a serial killer was wearing like a Girl Scouts outfit, and then like they're just like at your window like doing the nails and like in a really tight like it's like a big overweight like middle-aged man like with snaggly teeth and like you can tell he's like drunk or something you're like, no! <laughs> like no so i don't know if it's like made up or yeah. like a bit or whatever um but it's somebody at like somebody's ring going open the door open the door <laughs> no, no, you never open the door. What the, the door. heck? The door. Be like, please, sir, leave my home. You are evil. <laughs> oh my god, I would cry if I was home alone. So I was like, open the door. <laughs> oh god, it's like the Amazon delivery guy. Well, honestly, I feel like if it was a FedEx guy or like a delivery guy, and they were doing that. I might think that they're having like heat stroke or something and try and help them. Like if it was a random stranger that has no reason to be there, I wouldn't help them. But like imagine the postman like comes stumbling up. Yeah, but what like, is the stress of the postman? Well, yes, but I know that's what my people, postman. I know that's what how people like get stabbed. Yeah. But I know what our post guy looks like. Does he look like? He's like a middle. Well, there's a female and there's like a middle-aged white guy. No. There used to be a black man who was super nice. Yeah, I don't know where he went. I guess he changed routes or something. Changed route, but he was super sweet. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, on, on hot days, I like to leave like a Coke or something yeah. thing for them. God, that is a hard job. I would not want to be a postman. No. Or a UPS driver or something. The Amazon guys seem like they kind of figured out how to do it right. I mean, I'm still not saying it's a good job. Apparently Amazon is really fucking themselves up. What? With like the human rights violations? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> but like their actually de actual delivery stuff is pretty good. Um, I feel like maybe their cars are nicer because they have like the vans. Right. From what I can, there's a guy in my unit that um, either he is or was, um, I don't know if he still is, but last time I talked to him, he was an Amazon delivery guy. Um, and he says that all of the packages are like pre-labeled, they tell you what the house is, they're all on like the right street and stuff. The postal delivery service, it's up to you to figure that out. Um, like, they just give you- The order? The order, yeah. They just give you a bin of crap. And then you're expected to know the address of everywhere you go. So if you're in like a big community, like our our big neighborhood area where there's literally hundreds of homes off different streets and HOAs and all this other kind of crap, you have to be working that route for like a year before you know everything. Um, so I feel like that needs to change. I don't know if it can change. But you know, and also you're working for the government, so it's gonna be shit, no matter what you do. Well, the Amazon, they also have, um... There's another coffee table, do you think we should get that? I think so. We're getting to the point in the game where we're getting... Ah. Uh. These things happen. Um... But, um, Amazon also has, I think it's called Amazon Flex. Oh. Where it's basically like Uber. Oh, okay. I thought <laughs> they drive next to the postman. Or like, <gasps> like door <laughs> flexing on them. Yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> oh, shit's better than yours. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No, but it's like, um, like DoorDash, but for Amazon packages. That's good. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Like, civilian non-employees go and they just deliver their crap deliver the packages yeah that doesn't seem good you're like if where you... do they get the packages from amazon you just Dude. go to the delivery center and yeah. be like hey give me 50 packages yeah okay i mean yeah you just get on the app and then it will call moments uh -huh. um and then you can decide how long you want to do it or i think they give you um, like a bin full of packages, and then once you deliver them, like, buy, have a good day. Or come back and get more. Or come back and get more. I feel like that's real risky for Amazon. Do you know how sometimes we get deliveries that are, like, late in the night? Yeah. That's, that's probably a that's flex. That's the Amazon flex. Or for a while, there was, like, a Hispanic woman mm -hmm. that was, I think, like, delivering out of, like, her Camry or something. Mm -hmm. She was a, a flex driver. Huh. I feel like that could really bite Amazon in the butt. Because what if, what if I don't deliver all the packages or I get lost or something? Do you just bring them back? Maybe that's why our stuff gets delayed all the time. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like it's been a long time since we've actually had two day shipping. Yeah. Like, granted, we were getting that. HDMI to USB converter thing. That's supposed to be delivered tomorrow, and we ordered it yesterday. Yeah, let's see if it happens. Yeah. I, honestly, I feel like this might be the wrong, you know, idea. But Prime is kind of worth it just for Amazon Prime, the the, the like TV shows sure. and stuff. Yeah. I know. I like Amazon Prime because huh? it is free shipping. It's a little annoying that it's kind of not. Um, like two day shipping anymore. Mm hmm. But. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, I'm still kind of saving money. And it's nice to like subscribe and get like things just like automatically. Yeah, that's pretty chill. Mm hmm. Um, and Amazon Basics, so much cheaper. Like, I think you and I have talked about this before, but like no. your fluconazole, your nasal spray. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> oh, okay. My fluconazole? Yeah, fluconazole. Um, Publix, Walmart, $20, $25 for the bottle. 
Right. Amazon, I think it's like eight. Nice. Mm -hmm. Your um, phenofexidine, your Allegra. Mm -hmm. Twenty, twenty-five dollars. Publix, Walmart, like maybe ten, and you get like the amount. Nice. Like it's, I don't know, maybe it's like ten cents a pill instead of like seventy-five cents. I'm it's, into it. It's really nice. Yeah. And Cleo's like greenies or chewies. Right. Way cheaper at Walmart. The pack of like for, like the month long supply is like again twenty dollars from Amazon. That's like maybe ten, maybe fifteen. That's awesome. Yeah, way cheaper. That's way cheaper. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have to name the title of this stream talking about Amazon. <laughs> 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 That's pretty Love awesome. Like Amazon. Yeah, yeah, Amazon. <laughs> hey, if sponsor us. Sponsor us, dude. I'd be sponsored by Amazon. Yeah. Though they make us work like forty hours a day. Although, or uh huh. I didn't even think about putting like an Amazon wish list in our. That's a good idea. Yeah, we take it from other streamers. Yeah. Now we'll need to do our panels today too. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I've got this kind of figured out. I think I'd like it to go like this though. Just so that I can. can yes. Troll toll. Ah, uh, troll toll. <laughs> That's why you're yawning. I made you a double espresso, but you never drink it. And I'm above the table. That's one of those things that we're going to have to talk about in our vlog how it takes you like 45 minutes to eat. <laughs> um, I almost set up the little tray table like here. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, yeah, I like that vibe. Um, okay, so now we should have seaweed <laughs> automatically being cooked. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so yeah, next we'll buy this, that way we can start setting up the automation for the dumplings. And we should be good to go. I don't know if the dumplings ever, um, like, need other things inside them. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't think so. What was the other option we had to put in the mandarin oranges as the appetizer? Correct. Um, but I don't know if I could put, like, aren't, like, fish dumplings a thing? Aren't there, like, a bunch of different types of dumplings? Yeah, I think traditionally it's usually pork or chicken, but... Right, we're using steak. Yeah. I don't think chicken is a option in the game right now. We have turkey. Is there any chicken based dish? I don't think so. We should get like a fried chicken lot or something. <laughs> I would own a fried chicken restaurant and play them. I wouldn't do it in real life. That's a lot of oil. Have you ever had to empty like a big thing of oil into a trap? Oh. But I've heard it's horribly disgusting. It is not great. Your um, Candace, mm -hmm. great cousin. My great cousin? Yeah, she a great cousin. She's, yeah, she's my, cousin. yeah, she's my mom's cousin. Yeah, um, a great cousin. Your second cousin? I don't know, whatever. Probably great cousin, because she's a great person. Yeah. But she works at Sprouts. Yeah. And she said that the meat department, it, like there's a vat of... That's true. Like all like the bits they cut off. Yep. Of the meat. It's just the way it is. And once a month they go and they take it out to like a pig farm. Oh. And the pigs eat it. Oh. Sounds After a month of it sitting there? Yeah, it, is it like refrigerated? It might be refrigerated, but I mean, uh, pigs can eat anything. I don't know if They're... pigs like to eat anything, though. I mean, I guess they can. Like, we can eat pretty much anything, but... But we would get sick if we ate monk-old fat. I don't know if the pigs should be eating monk-old fat. That feels like a... I don't know. know it might not be. It may not be. Yeah, gee, Louise. They, may, they do something. Prepsation, get it! They do something sustainable with it. Yeah. Well, I think that's good, right? Recycle, reuse, and all that crap. Well, and I know that people that have chickens, they will give the chickens, like, the, um, like, what do you call it? Like, squishy vegetables. Yeah. Like, if you have, like, essentially pet chickens, you, instead of throwing your... Old vegetables away? Old vegetables away. Um, any dumplings. I guess that will go. Okay, sure. Okay. We're talking about chickens, I understand. Um, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so like, like a slightly it, wilty vegetable that like Yeah, really or like a, like a really squishy Colin. tomato. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can eat it. I think we could probably eat it too. Yeah. But it's just kind of gross. Yeah. So we don't. Which I don't really swear this. Huh? The weather outside is frightful. Oh, it's so delightful. But I can empty that for you. Yeah. I do like that song. I think that's a good Christmas song. I don't really like Christmas music too much in general. Um, but I do like the big, like, bombastic Christmas music where it's like an entire choral or choral? chorus? Choir? That's the word. Where they're just like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> like a million. Have you ever seen an orchestra, like, perform? Um, what's one that has, like, the big clap? I have no idea. A clapping orchestra? Like the Blue Man Group? No. Okay. Are they still a thing? There's the one that's like, you can serve those customers, but... No. No. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's what I'm saying. Man, that sounds like madness. Man, the little robot got stuck in the wrong area, huh? No. Little Shafid. We have a lot of crap. Look at all that stuff back there. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Well, and we level franchise. up. We franchise, baby. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Franchised. When you complete this run, we'll be yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, start with the wash basin. Yeah. Well, wash basin's been really doing well. We need this prep. There's a prep station here somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, it went up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's back now. Or he should spawn in his little spot. So I do like these, but they're expensive. Rabbit poster? Uh, it's free. Yeah, because this is the year of the rabbit. Oh, that's clever. Um, I need one more of these, I think. Aww. Oh. Oh? I feel cute. Oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's nice. Big. More lanterns. I'll take a workstation. I also really like the Christmas decorations that they have. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that they're doing things like that. That makes the game feel a little bit mm -hmm. more nicer. Um, we can save a plant if we would like. I don't think I'm going to need um, another one of these guys. I'm okay without that. I'm just gonna buy this for now. I mean, it's not great, but it does get me where I'm going a bit. Mm -hmm. um, oh, what I could do. Um, do I want to do that? Shoot, I should have saved the money and bought another one of these. Because I can make the combiner come through here, combine the dough in the sink, mm -hmm. and then get another one that puts it over here. So that way I just cut, cut, dough, move on. Mm -hmm. um, this is making that, so I'd like to have another one of these here. Um, honestly, I don't... Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think about how to make this quicker. I can make it quicker by moving this up to here. I like it better like this. I don't know why I like it better like that. Is there a reason to do that? I don't know. Um, Are we going to continue to watch the physical 100? Yeah! Why? I'm just curious. I liked it! I do too! Yeah, I like that it's different challenges than just like, who can deadlift 600 pounds or something. Um, I feel like they need to speed it up a little bit. Definitely. I would agree with that. Where are we putting it? You ready to go? Yeah. Three, two, one. Um, I agree with that wholeheartedly. I feel like it is a little slow. Oh yes, this is so much quicker. Like there's a hundred. Um, well, there's a lot less now. Well, there's it's gonna reduce in half. Yeah. But it seems like they're showing every. 
five seconds. Yeah, every match. Yeah, that's a little bit much. Like we should do the highlights, but maybe they they truly are just doing like the interesting ones. But well, uh, they're starting off with eliminating half in that like wrestling thing. Spoilers, by the way, if you want to watch the show. Uh, but they all have to wrestle over a ball. Which I do like that the contestants don't necessarily just go after the ball. <laughs> they like just fight each other. That's so weird. <laughs> it is weird, but I kind of enjoy it. They're like, all right, I've got the ball. And then he just throws it behind him and like start. No, we did not want that. Um, whoops. We have infinite prep stations now, so there's no reason to do that. Um, but that's okay. Um, what was I thinking? Uh, ooh, I ran out of room. Uh, let me just check these, I guess. Um, what was I thinking? Um, uh, how they just oh out yeah, the ball. they're just violent. I think my favorite one though was when it was like the runner. I forget what, like what he did, but he was some sort of like kind of like slender runner. Oh, the athletic. zombie boy. He was good, but also um. Versus the big, like, 300 pound oh, weightlifter guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the skinny dude versus the chunky guy. Yeah. Yeah. He was, I forget what he did, but it was like a good job where he had to be like, very athletic. Um, I don't remember what he did either. But his, he was thinking outside the box where he's like, if I can just get the ball from the biggest person, yeah. I can just outrun them. And that, that did not work out super great at first. No. But I liked I like that the contestants are smart. Like they don't they, Yeah. They don't just try and do one thing. It was the oh, gymnast shoot. versus the Strongest Man. The zombie. Like the gold medalist. Oh yeah, the Olympic, Olympic yeah. versus the zombie. But I feel like that he cheated. The because medalist? the yeah, because the zombie guy, choreographer, right. was way faster. Yep. But he was wiggling out and accidentally at, like elbowed him in the face. Yeah. And then the guy totally was like overplayed it. Overplayed it so that. Have you ever gotten an elbow to the face? Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's about wrestling in. Yeah. I mean, people were like grinding their there. knees into the other people's faces. Oof! Who did that? All of them. Well, the two women that were the two like boxers that were fighting. Yeah, those they two were like went at it. grinding each other's faces into the sand. I'm into that. Yeah, but oh my god, you got elbowed in the face. Like, Coleman. That is like the literal point of the show. That's true. Like it is meant to be like a death match type thing. Yeah. Yeah. But if that wasn't in the rules, because nobody I mean, else basically... punches each other, like you're not allowed to. But it was a total accident. I don't feel like they should have had the ball given to the other person. I think it's more of a sportsmanship thing at that point. You're very violent. No, I was violently got punched in the face. Imagine what if you got mad at somebody for tackling you in football. Like yeah. that's the point. Uh, but I don't think they were allowed to hit each other because nobody else but hit it was each other. An accident. Well, still, like if a team accidentally it, stabs right? somebody, you give the ball to the other team members. But I feel like, I don't know. If that happened to me, like, yeah, okay, I get the ball now, yeah. but also then I maybe would have given the other guy a little bit of an advantage as well. No. Because he didn't mean to elbow me. Yeah, but it's $250,000. I'm not letting the other guy get an advantage. He screwed up. He should have fucking punched but me I in just, the face. I feel like that's kind of like a dick move. Why? I don't know. That feels normal to me. Like in football, if you or in soccer or something, if you commit a foul, the other team gets the ball. Or in basketball. Yeah, but then there's like an equal chance to continue to play the game. The the other guy had a chance to continue. Like to the, play the game. it's I don't know. I just it didn't feel like it was very like on brand with the like style of the game show because they're all like I guess supposed to be like an all out like death match yeah but I don't think you're allowed to punch like the two boxers went in and they didn't just immediately start wailing on each other bare fisted 
Um, and then, but there were other people that had blood running down their face. Yeah, but that might, I mean, it, that's going to happen, but I don't think that's the intent. Like, uh, you know, somebody got pushed over. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, sorry, that sucks. Um, I'm sorry that your face got hurt or whatever, but I don't think the intent of the show is to break the other guy's knees. Yeah. But if it's supposed to be like a gladiatorial, I'm not <laughs> a gladiatorial. I think you're going. Me in the face. Yeah, you're going way too violent with it. It's not meant to be that violent. You're like, I can't believe this guy didn't stab him in the throat. And I'm like, I don't think that's the idea. I'm not going this. that extreme. I just feel like that whole like. Can we give this a go? I want to see if this works. Like a practice? Yes. So this goes into there, which then does that. Oh shoot, well I need to move this, but okay. Perfect. Yeah, I think you're going way too violent. Like that, that is not the purpose of the show, you know? Yes, I think it is weird that the guy that got punched like immediately started crying about it. But, I mean, if you've ever been really heavily elbowed in the face... Yeah, that hurts real bad. Yeah, you might be like, okay, that was definitely a foul. Um, it's my turn, you know? Um, I just feel like... I would have been like, yeah, you kind of accidentally hit me in the face. Like, that really hurt. And technically that breaks the rules. But I would have... What? What would you have like done differently? Like run slightly slower, like at least given the guy like a chance. Why? You would intentionally try and lose $250,000 because somebody punched you in the face? By accident. That's real dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's real dumb. <laughs> if somebody by accident punches me in the face, I'm not going to intentionally try and lose $250,000. I feel like I don't want to win. I don't want to win unless I did it like on the ugly. Okay. Let's see how far that gets you. Like oh. doing the right thing is like always like the hardest thing. But he did the right thing. Like he literally played the, the game by the rules of the game. Like, yeah, you punched me in the face, now I get the ball. And my entire plan is to keep the ball away from you. I feel like that's... I think he did a great job. Um, I feel bad for the zombie guy for punching the dude, but also the zombie guy was really flailing around, like full spasm of it, um, which I don't know if that... I mean, he was like really... crawling on his on all fours. Do you want a coffee? Yeah, didn't we get a coffee table before? Uh, no, we didn't buy them. Oh, uh, well, we need to create infinite coffee tables from now on. I think actually at max we could probably fit like another two coffee tables in here, but you know, oopsies. Dumpling production is under full swing. Dumplinos. I don't like that it has this like second phase where you cut up all the ingredients, you put them in the dough, and then you have to make them into the dumplings. It's kind of annoying, but. Make a full bit essentially. Yeah. I'm pushing them out in squads of three. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess the workstations were probably worthwhile, seeing that we weren't getting mixers. No, still have not gotten a mixer. Ooh, we need seaweed. said the, the like not being able to see the processes I view as like a free card because the food changes color when it's done or shape or in some way so it's like oh shoot I was doing the wrong thing there um, you know very easy to tell what's going on Indication of like the doneness, 
Oh, I yeah. think it has like a ladder. Oh, that's good. Because people um, are having problems with like, colorblindness. Yeah. Well, being somebody who is colorblind, I do like that change. Because it was kind of hard for me to tell what was going on sometimes. Would you need seaweed whenever you have seaweed? Okay, two seconds. Seaweed. Microwave takes a long time. What the heck? Uh, this is really fast. Do they speed up safety hops? I don't know. I think you have time to clean it up if you want. Oh, I don't know. You don't have to fix this because you got this week. You're strong. The little robot tends to go behind and just stay behind for a while. But during the beginning part of the day, he's pretty good at cleaning stuff. We gotta bust a bus with some tables, huh? Yeah. I'm really looking forward to the boys coming back out. I liked that show a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you know when the next uh, season is? I don't. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Probably not for a while. Yes. I mean, the, the, I think it's really hard for a lot of actors in shows like that because, and I don't mean this to be rude, but a lot of them are already middle-aged slash like slightly older. So like they're in their late 40s, early 50s, something like that. Um, so playing a character, you're good to go. Playing a character who's like, you know, fairly young, I think could be difficult for them because as they continue, like the voice has been going on for like what, six or seven years now? Four or five years? I don't know. Probably closer to four, yeah. Um, they're getting older, you know? Mm -hmm. So that, that's gotta be tough to keep up like that. Um, the so, new episode on The Last of Us comes back tonight. Oh, hooray! No. What is this, Mox? I just threw those in there. Let's get that coffee table in here. Uh, plant, I figure, is worth buying. This makes them all more patient. So good. Um, where should we put this? Why did you buy it? That baby. Oops. You said get the coffee table. So As like, in, like, get it yeah. into the thing. That's okay. I realize that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, okay, so that's done. What if I do, do something we need like this? this? Huh? Do we need this booking desk? Um, no. I don't think so. I do this. I do this. And I do this. There we go. Little safe, self contained. 4x4 four four square to make infinite seaweed for us now. Mm -hmm. um, so your sink did get moved up slightly, but I don't think that's a big issue. Um, whoopsies. That one's done. Yeah, try not to flail your legs around. I'm trying to stretch my legs. I understand. We're almost done. It's uh, 10 30. We've got another 30 minutes. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the booking desk anymore. We need to. No more. Coffee tables now. We kind of fucked that one. We need um, other things. What is it called? Um, mixers. Mixers and things like that. Mixers and conveyor belts and tables. Because um, we want to do those like tables where it gets all the dishes for us and set up that automation. I don't know if we'll be able to because at a restaurant's kind of mm. small. We need to store something. Um, I guess we'll just store this counter. So you don't have to do any upgrades. Just ignore that. Um, gross. Did you see her? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why she sleeps with all four of her legs together. I don't, I don't know either. She's kind of a weird dog, you know? She's a bit of a weird dog. She's cute though. Yeah. It's kind of like. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna have to save that one for later. Pow, pow.
There we go. Nice. I love it. We need to do the same thing for the... Oh, what am I doing? We need to do the same thing for these guys. That way we can have enough. serve the customers faster. I don't think there just aren't very many in here right now, but we are good on production. I think we should also start practicing our French again. I know it wasn't... Well, let's actually get good at the string stuff. Maybe we'll, we'll work on another language. We got a lot to chew right now, anyways. School work. quite a bit. So I should be able to come out there and start helping you here fairly soon though. Mm -hmm. That'd be We're almost automated. Almost. We need like four mixers, three mixers, and another combiner. Please keep serving. I can't talk as well. I know that's the issue. Um, well, um, no, not a wild rabbit. One of our neighbors has rabbits that they keep. They have rabbits and chickens. Kind of weird. In the cat litter box? In the cat litter buckets. Buckets. I mean, it's a vibe, I guess. I mean, it's better than leaving better them. Better than yeah. leaving them, or like, I was gonna, if I had to take Cleo, I just had her on like a super long leash that way she floated away. 
I have right. her on the leash. I don't know if that's the vibe either. No. Yeah. 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 Moral of the story, if there's a hurricane coming, evacuate. That, or just like, have a slight plan in place. <laughs> Maybe not. I never thought to do... The next thing we need is to get life vests. I, we're, we're on a hill like 22 feet above sea level. But if there's like a massive thing, hurricane, that comes through... Yeah. I mean, the... Huh? You need to keep remembering to hit A. The coastline is... You didn't do any of the research. You told me not to. I said you don't need to do the research. You still need to do the copying. Baby, you need to start thinking. <laughs> All right, well, we're fucked. Um, Just let me do everything because you're not doing or anything. Because specific... you said that there's nothing on here that needs to be done. I didn't say that. I said you don't need to do any research while looking at the research desk. But you need to understand that there's two things to do. Well, real, um, real bad. Um, real, real bad. My baby. My baby. Uh, I'm gonna give this a roll because we have two things. We don't need the counter or the sink. Um, we have a shit ton of money. I do need this combiner. Auto player. Uh, I don't need an auto player. Unless you want an auto player. Okay. Um, research desk. There we go. Do you want a dish rack? No. Alrighty. Um, so, you do need to do the stuff up here. Yep, I know. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know how else I can say that. Um, good. And we're looking for mixers. Because then, once the kitchen's automated, I can come down and help you serve. Because right now, um, I actually run out of things to do during the day. But we're serving like 30 customers or some shit, so I don't blame you for getting backed up a bit. Get another prep station. I don't think that's worth it. But... I think you can go to serving now. Oh, nice. Worked out right at the end. Um, fortunately, I can't help you with like dishes and stuff. But I can make dumplings. Delicious dumplings. I can't wait to try this sushi. I... I'm not sure if the sushi is a mod or if it's a base game thing. Uh, I saw something that said floating sushi in the workshop. Floating? Show. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Um, yeah. Maybe it's sushi boat. Oh! That'd be good. I've always wanted a sushi boat. Man, that's a lot of sushi to eat. You're just one young lady. I love sushi. <laughs> sushi isn't very good for you, though. Not bad. Not like it's like a fried cheese burger. No, but I don't think it's great either. It's just a fried rice. If you got sashimi, it's perfect. What? Yeah, just little fish chunks? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, there's something to be said about the simplicity of just eating like a little piece of fish. Ceviche. You ever had ceviche? I never have. Yeah. So isn't ceviche like raw meat? Yeah, it's um fish, usually shrimp. Um, no, don't eat that. No, I will die. Um, but it's cooked mm -hmm. in like vinegar. Okay. Because it's so acidic. That yeah, it, it kills the bacteria. Mm -hmm. I know these things. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Make a temperance. Delicious temperance. Ah, they're changing. Oh, yes. That's the new card. That so that they can semi change their orders. Confused. Remember, if we serve them quick enough, um, they don't change their orders. We just need, I believe it's two mixers, and then I can come out of the kitchen um, and help out. Do you want a coffee table? No. I think we're going to run out of space for coffee tables here in a moment. Great job. You're starting to cut into the back. Here, the splashing. <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 It's good stuff. Was your buddy? Oh, what the fuck? is good laddies and gents. Uh, we are playing some play up. Sorry I haven't been able to look at the chat. I got super backed up making stuff, but it has been a really fun early morning stream. Um, this is a bit of a mess though. Uh, how was your evening bud? Did you do anything interesting? Did you have fun? Did you meet new people? These are all questions we have to ask. Uh, this game was meant, it is cozy at the very beginning, but now I feel a little stressed. <laughs> it may or not be sweaty. May or may not be sweaty. Yeah, this is, uh, getting a little intense. Uh, but I'm looking forward to playing some other games today, as well as doing some editing and YouTube stuff. Oh, no, we locked in the prep station. Honestly, not a bad lock-in. I did not even look over at that desk the whole time. Did you? Uh, I looked over a little bit, oh, okay. um, but there wasn't anything there. Oh, your bitches. Nice. I immediately changed the way You what? used to be able to what? give them a side, even if they didn't order the side. Yeah! But I don't know if it counts as a side. I mean, it, it's put on like a side, but like, if you have like french fries or whatever, you can put the french fries on the plate yeah. before the entree. The seaweed, you can't. Nope. I don't know why. This one, this one does not seem cozy currently. <laughs> yeah, it it's... Used, it was at the beginning. There's yeah. like a bear mixer. Uh, put it in the desk, please. We do not want to upgrade that shit. Um, in fact, I don't know if we need to upgrade anything anymore. Blueprint desk. Fantastic. I can put that one down here. In fact, I can put both blueprint desks down here now. Mm -hmm. Save you a bit of room. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We need more conveyors. Um, I'm just gonna buy these two. 24 guests, mega overtime, year of the rabbit. We're making it work. Um, so with the double conveyor mixers, I'm gonna have to rearrange the stuff to go this way, but I think we have everything we need, or it's just going to take two more days mm -hmm. to fully automate this, um, unless we get another blueprint for a mixer, um, which we could potentially, but Rocket League is cozy is all I'm saying. It is not cozy. It is very violent, um, but you're, you're, oh, you've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, you're the racing cars. I mean, I don't think it's like not cozy. I mean, it's, not it's like a sports game. That's like saying football is cozy. Yeah. I mean, you can... I mean, what is it? Madden? I mean, people play Madden. Yeah, to relax like, and relax. stuff. Yeah, I guess. Hit one. Oh. It's like saying Call of Duty is cozy. I mean, I guess it's kind of cozy because you can play it on, like, autopilot. But it is still a, a violent video game. Um, it sucks that we could be happy in the chat our screen. Yeah, that's something that we do need to work on. Throw on some music and just let Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> yeah, mm, I feel like that's an easy way to lose. <laughs> uh, but I would be interested in, in talking about some stream stuff with you once we're done here. We should be done in 15 minutes. Um, so that should be enough time for us to gather our thoughts and things. Uh, but I've decided to uh, make a vlog about my weight loss journey. Um, that's what we're calling it now. Uh, I need to lose 30 pounds, so you'll probably have some good information on that as well because Krill looks like a tiny bodybuilder. Um, I don't know if I should keep making fun of his height. <laughs> um, like 5'1. Um, <laughs> don't make that face. I just eat significantly taller than that. I'm just being rude. Um, but, uh, yeah, it should be good, it should be great. Um, then we we're gonna do a reshoot of our Warhammer video. Um, we have a math test we have to take. Um, I say we because I like to do our homework together. My little wife and I. Um, we have a lot of editing we need to do because we're running out of that now. We started using DaVinci. <laughs> He's being nice to me in the chat. Oh, heck. No, you're just going in the trash. Oh my word, I'm behind them. Pierogi. Dumpling. Dumpling. Oh, 
Oh, that's what they could do if they wanted to make pierogies, is they just swap these out with, like, potatoes and meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That honestly would be a good, like, side upgrade to the dumplings. Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot of bus of bus There's less puddles on the floor. We might need to get you another robot to keep cleaning the floors. If we had two of them, that might help a lot. Um, that or like an auto mop or something. You know. Um, I'll help you with the dishes. Go, go, go. Ooh, we got a full house. Yeah. Ooh, we got a full house. Go, 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 go. Go, baby, go. I'm as fast as I can. Go faster. Luckily, with the upgrades that we have, I'm 5'9", which is above average. Thank you very much. Really? <laughs> what? I think the uh, definition on Urban Dictionary uh -huh. for short king is N15 below. Oh no! Like, if you look up like short king on Urban Dictionary, I think it says 5'10 and below. Why do you know this? I saw it in a YouTube video. Oh, okay. So weird. Um, but know. there's a channel called Jubilee, I think it is. Jubilee? Yeah. Like, that's the name keep of going, the channel. Keep going, keep going. I know, I'm crying. Uh -huh. Um, but they did a video, or it's like, I think they call it Odd Man Out. And so it's like, Warhammer, six Warhammer fans, one fake one. Oh. And then they have to, you have to like, figure out who's... I could sniff um, that out in a minute. What is it called? Chameleon? Oh, it's, it's like, like chameleon. Yeah. yeah. Um, go, 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 you can't bust bust the table. Okay, but why I can't do anything. I can't I can't put it in there. You need to don't bust the tables. And we lost. Take out the last one. I can't. I have nowhere to put it. You need to yeah. The flow of the restaurant wasn't there, unfortunately. Oh. What? We still haven't lost. I don't think you're serving the wrong customers too. Yeah. There was a guy at the bottom which was just the one. Yeah. Um Alrighty, but that was a good good restaurant thing. Uh, we still franchised. We franchised it. We franchised it. Washing. Yeah, we're real close. We always get super close to actually like getting the upgrade, um, but we didn't quite get there. Increased mess we can get rid of. What's up? Just laughing. Uh-huh. Um, Automod held a message for reason. Sex-based terms. Yeah. Get wrecked. Um, Ha! Nicely done. We can actually see your message, but I think we just scrap it, to be honest. Let's get the EXP. I don't think that was a super great restaurant. Um, it's the one in the Urban Dictionary. It's the whole thing. Okay. Good for you, buddy. Oh, did we make you a mod? Is that why you have... Oh, no, you have Prime Gaming. How do we make you a mod? Or is that something that we can't... Why do you have Prime Gaming? Because there's this little crown next to him that says Prime Gaming oh. when I hover over it. No. I don't know how to do that though. Maybe why do you want him to be a mom? Because he knows a lot more about Twitch than we do, and he's my friend, and I don't really know what being a mod is. So I feel like he. It's kind of like hiring a police officer when you don't know what the police actually do. You just hope that they do the right thing and you kind of just leave it. Um, it's kind of how I live my life. Um, Oh wow, we have three of these now. Three dishwashers. This stir fry looks different. No, that's how it always looked. Um, we've got ten minutes. Um, oh, he says he has no idea. He's never been one either. Um, I think we also need to get our Prime membership on our own stream. Um, no, we'll just, uh, we'll just have to sign in to Prime. Yes, so we need to sign into Prime, and then also we need to create those overlays and get rid of these black bars. Um, which I think I watched a video that said like you right click on it, and then you click like expand to fill screen or something like that. Mm -hmm. That way we don't have black bars within the stream. Oh, we're not friends, we're brothers. Wow, wow, wow. We're uh, black dots. I don't know. Um, 
uh, soccer balls, maybe? Black soccer balls? Balls. Balls, balls. Um, Ball brothers. Ball brothers! <laughs> oh, like Battle Brothers. Um, but you play with each other's balls. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why don't we just do like a, a quick chat? Um, sorry about touching the, the microphone. Um, we got 10 minutes. I don't think we should start a new franchise, but let's actually like lay out what it is that we need to do for the day. Uh, we got to take Cleo for a little walk. Uh, so we'll take her out. Yeah, you. You heard the W word. Uh, we'll take her for like a Can 20 minute walk. No. No, you want to pick her up? Oh. Uh, I need to put together my weight loss plan. I'll actually run this by you, Crow. Uh, the idea is uh, eat 1,500 calories a day. Uh, we're going to sign up for a gym. Maybe. Maybe. It's expensive, but we're thinking about doing like the Orange Theory or Burn Body Boot Camp or something like that. Um, but I wake up in the morning, I go for like a 15 to 20 minute jog on the elliptical. Um, after a stream, which we stream for two hours a day, uh, we'll go for a walk, which is normally like a mile. <laughs> That's okay, she'll be good. Walk for like a mile. Um, and then two days out of the week, we'll be vegetarian. We'll do a meatless Monday and maybe like a veggie... What's a good alliteration for some type of vegetable? Green, veggie, um, I don't know, what are other, legume, like a synonym for vegetable, vegetable. legume, um, uh, fiber, fiber Fridays, where we only eat like fibrous materials, <laughs> doesn't sound great, mm -hmm. um, but for breakfast I'm thinking I'm going to have a protein shake and an apple. Um, why the vegetarian thing for two days? I found that I used to be on the bodybuilding team at the University of Tampa, um, which I know I don't look like it now, but I used to be much better in shape. I was in the on the scuba team. Um, I was in the bodybuilding team. I ran track. Like I used to be much, much more active, and then I became like a fat sack of poop. Um, mostly because my work is work from home when I get to do it on the computer. Which, by the way, if you heard anything about the job, I appreciate it. But um, uh, the double vegetarian day is like a really easy way to lower your calories, but also get a lot of the macronutrients that you need um, without like eating red meat. And, and sometimes we struggle to incorporate vegetables. Enough so we found that it inspires us more when we go like completely meatless. Yeah. So it's just easier to like experiment and I don't know. Yeah, right. like yesterday for dinner we had like hamburgers, french fries, and coleslaw. Sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries, yeah. So there were like a little bit of vegetables in there, but not really much. Um, so that doesn't really seem great. Why don't you face the camera a little bit? Um, so it would be good to actually try something different. Um, I think it's good for us. It just like accelerates the weight loss stuff. Um, and there's a lot of cheat meals you can have with like a vegetable based diet where you can do like a big salad with cheese and eggs and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. yeah. But really it's the running, um, running in the morning, walking after each stream, and then like the 30 minute workout. Um, we can do like a fit stream. Remember for a while, like every time we would complete a day and play it up, we would do like 10 push-ups or 10 something. 10 push-ups or like whatever number of day we were on, that's the number of like squats we would do. Yeah, that got insane real quick. <laughs> yeah. When it's like day 30, so you've done one, two, so three, then seven, then 10, and then like by the end of it, you've already done like a thousand squats. <laughs> yeah, that got pretty brutal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we could do something like that. You know, there, on YouTube, there's a lot of like those um, cam girls that are like, Oh, every time you donate, I'll do a push-up, and then they like put the camera on the ground. Like, oh, one! <laughs> yeah, we could do that. We could do like a satire stream. Uh, I'd be into it. Are you gonna wear a little low cut shirt? I could. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I'd actually enjoy that. Uh, promise, I think people might like that too much. <laughs> I'm kind of like a weird, gross, like fat body dad. Um, Why do you say stuff like that? Because I think it's important to embrace yourself as you are. Because if you know where you're at, you can always go up or down. But if you like have this like weird, like 
thought of yourself, like an unreal image of yourself. I know, but you gotta practice self love a little bit more. Like oh, I practice self love every time you go to the grocery store. Nice. nice. Oh my God, I don't have three Hooray! <laughs> All five push ups. Krill knocked out like, was it 50 or 60 push ups for the ACFT test? Um, yeah, we did this thing called the Iron Platoon, which I think I've talked to yeah. you about. Uh, which somehow, I, I think I am just like the best at everything uh, because I somehow wormed my way into doing the one competition that we said we were going to lose anyway, so nobody had to try. So literally, I think we put like 90 pounds on the deadlift and I went like, one, I'm done. <laughs> like the other guys in the other teams were doing like, you beautiful man, thank you. But yeah, the other teams were doing like, I don't know, 500, 600 pound reps. Um, so we got like this this little girl, um, Hey Cook, my, my buddy Hey Cook, who's like half broken. Um, he works construction in New York, so his knees and back are all, all kinds of screwed up. Um, and then myself. So we did like a 200 pound deadlift and called it quits. <laughs> and then everybody else had to like pick up the slack. But we were knew we were going to lose because there, there literally was another platoon that like they could um, 59, 59, yeah. It, it is ridiculous the way that we have to do push-ups. Um, oh, you have to go out? Yeah, it's the hand release push-ups, but they make you do it right underneath your shoulders, which one, impinges the shoulder joint, which is really bad. Yeah, he did not want to be there. <laughs> they, they basically forced him to go to VLC. Um, but yeah, you're like impinging your shoulder joint when you're doing it. Not only that, when you're laying on the ground, you're not actively working, which I kind of enjoy, um, but it, it does somewhat simulate, like if you were picking yourself off the ground after doing like a, I'm not placing you, I'm down type of thing. Yeah. But I don't know anybody who naturally, when they're like laying down on their stomach, puts their hands underneath their shoulders to get up. Like most people just do a regular push up. Because that is stronger, you can use your chest, you can use your triceps, you'll still use your shoulders. Yeah. But it's not 90% shoulders. Um, so I don't know. Uh, the Army physical fitness test does not seem to be great. Like, you know how in the, that 100 strongman thing, they have like actually good competitions? Yeah. Um, this one seems to be kind of random. The sprint drag carry is a great exercise. And I think we should keep the sprint drag carry. Um, but you're driving a sled, right? So you sprint 25 meters, sprint back, you grab a 90 pound sled, you drag that, drag it back, you grab, um, oh, I think after that you do laterals, back and forth, then you grab the dumbbells, or the kettlebells, which are two 40 pound kettlebells, you go back and forth, and then you sprint again, and go back and forth. Um, I did that in two minutes. Nice. Yeah, I was very impressed with myself. Um, it screwed my run. They but... like coach you though. Like they tell you like what you do next. No. So if you like forget to do something, you're you lose. in trouble. Yeah, 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 you lose. Or if your sled breaks, or if any of your equipment breaks for whatever reason, that's on you. So like one guy, when he went to do it, he was at like, he was a really big guy. Like he looked very fit. Yeah. He went to do it and his sled just like blew up. And he was like, okay. So he quickly tried to put it back together and he basically so just he, carried the weight. He failed the, the CFT. Correct. So that's why people don't like it because they're like, if you're going to make us do this, give us equipment that doesn't, Works. yeah, that doesn't just break. Yeah. Um, like you know the sled that I have in the garage, yeah. we could just use that sled where the plates go on the metal bar, mm -hmm. so you know it's just not going to explode. Because um, right now we just use straps, so if the straps get loose, you can pull it and the straps. But is that an actual sled or you're it's just it's like a piece of tarp. To... You're tying a rope to two weights that are on top of a piece of tarp. So you're hoping that that knot in the rope. Rip. Yeah, that the rope doesn't rip, that the knot stays, yeah. that you know, there's no sand spurs or something in the rope because where we do it, there's tons of sand spurs. So you just reach down, you're like, ah, your hands are on fire as you're dragging it. The leg tuck was a great exercise. What's that? Um, you, uh, it's basically like a pull up with, uh, with bringing your knees to your chin. Yeah. Um, super easy, or at least for some people it's very easy, for some like people it's really hard. Like what we did at, uh, at Burn, right? Yeah, it's like what we did at Burn, but you have to actually do the pull up. So instead of just hanging there and bringing your knees up, you hang like this, you pull yourself up to the bar, and then you touch your knees, and then you go back down, and then you go up and go back down. 
or maybe you just stay at the top, but either way, you have to do a full pull up. Mm -hmm. But I found that taller people seem to do it better because it's really easy to bring my long legs up because, you know, my quad is like 14 inches or something. So I can just do this and it's like up to my chin. Mm -hmm. Whereas some people, like there's a little guy that was in the other platoon who's like, I don't know, five feet tall. His, his quad's like his page. <laughs> And you can see his back like really rounding. <laughs> like, poor guy. Um, but yeah, a lot of the ACFT is not great. But that's our two hours of streaming. We gotta cut this up into the highlights and put it on the YouTube channel as well as with the other stuff. So we're gonna go for a little walk there, Krill. And then if you're free, I'd like to play some games and, and chat around and do stuff. So thank you all for joining us. We appreciate it and look forward to seeing you in the VOD. What are we gonna name the people who watch our VODs? I still don't even know what a VOD is. VOD is just a, oh, is it a acronym? virtual... I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Anyways, see ya. We have to turn it off from there, I guess.